come to me, Bojangles? Yeah, your highness. Why, it's a standing now. I don't enjoy being teased. Um. Now you're mine, Bojangles. What's going on, everybody? It's Bojangles, and we are going to try to take on Leela, the Dragoons, and Dais today. So we are in the city of Paloon, and we have got to go in here and talk to a pirate. But not just any pirate. I do think this is Leela herself. You've been looking for pirates, Dais, are you? Well, this be your lucky day. Just so it happens, me and this ship about to leave for the east, but you're wanting to ride. Guys, I can't do a female sailor for the life of me. Uh, so we'll work on that. We'll work on that, actually. All right, let's see what happens. Kristen, does it seem a little too convenient, Bojangles? Hmm, maybe it is. But there aren't any other ships going to the east. Ooh, Scott, we're just going to have to trust her. Ooh, I don't know if this is a good idea or not. My name is Layla. Oh, I think this is the one we're going to have to battle. I'll be waiting outside in the city for you. We'll weigh anchor as soon as, you set a, as soon as you're ready to set go. Something like that. I can't read very well today. So, all right, here we go. Let's see what this... Okay, he wants us to buy a trip to Pop. We're not trying to go to Pop. Uh, so we don't need to go there at all. So let's say no. All right, now I think we have to leave this place here go right back outside and then we're gonna board her ship and then she i think we have to battle her i'm not sure what's going on let's go ahead and take a little nappy nap first get our hps and our mps up and then we're gonna go meet her outside all right here's the ship let's jump on this bad boy okay we don't talk to nobody yet we're just gonna take it straight to daist i'm assuming okay no no we got a little cutscene. what we got okay Trusting pirates doesn't say much for your spaceship between your ears. She just called us dumb. We'll spare your lives, but your loot will be ours now. Oh, Kristen was right. This trick. What's this? It's a fight you've been wanting? You really are stupid. Oh, get them, boys. Man, we ain't worried about these little... Okay, so let's see what happens. Oh, good lord. We got about eight pirates we got to fight. Uh, so let's get a little protect on real quick. I'm not sure how hard these guys hit or if they're hitting hard at all, to be honest. So we're going to check this out real fast. All right, just like a soap. All right, we got to protect zero. Oh, man. Put a little thunder on this guy. 76. Not too, too bad. It doesn't look like they can hit us at all. So I'm not too worried about any of that mess moving forward. So it's going to be perfect. So this should be a quick, simple fight. And I wonder why we don't fight her, but I guess I do believe she's going to join our party. And um, we're going to offer up some bribe or something, I think. It's been a while since I've played this, so I don't know. So let's try fire. You would think lightning would be a little bit better than the fire. Uh, it's about the same. It's not that much different. Man, Bojangles is hitting hard with those stabs. Throw a steady red with his axe and his, his uh, sift. I think that's a sift or... A, it's kind of like a death claw or something like that. I have to remember to try to go look and see what the name of that thing is. Okay. All right, let's focus here. Let's just go ahead and just knock these guys out. We're doing better without magic. And so 78, not too bad. Good hit there. We're moving pretty good. Pretty quick. Three left. Should take three more hits, depending on Kristen, if she gets a good hit with her bow. All right, so that should do three on each one. That's one down. All right, that's two down. All right, and then this should be the last one. Man, we didn't take hardly any damage at all. One more hit. Should do it. Or seven more hits if you're Bojangles. He said, I'm not messing around. A couple levels up. Not too bad. Lots of money. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Oh, they step back. Enough. I know when I'm beat. Go on then. Do what you're going to do and be done with it. She is not too happy with us. Oh, we turn, a little, turn our backs on her. Oh, I think we're congregating. Where are you up to? Okay, turn back around. If you want to fight, you want to fight the Empire together. A bunch of outcasts like this fighting right along the likes of you. Oh, she's confused. She don't know what to do. Oh, she's cons consulting maybe. I think I think I like the sound of that. To your post, boys. Whether it be Dais or the edge of the world, we'll get you there. All right, nice. So we've got the pirates, and Leela has joined our party, so that'll be nice to have her along the way, and she should be a good asset moving forward. Now, I'm not sure how strong it is or how much HP we're going to have, but let's see. I think I should have full control of the ship at this point, so we should get the move around and see where we're going from there. Okay, so we should better head up straight up north. 
and then we're gonna have to come down around this peninsula right here and then it's gonna come and then we gotta go swing around and then at that point we're gonna go all the way down and swing around the world so there's a little island up at the north point of this map but let me get these guys over there and when we get to that island we're gonna see what we can get into Okay, here we go. We are made it to the North Island right here. So we got to come straight up. And the first place we're going to go, oh, battle. Okay, I'm not going to make you watch this. <laughs> so the first place we're going to go is right into here. And this should be the Castle of Dais. It's the first place you're going to go. All right, so we got to talk to this old. Oh, go away. Don't come any closer. Oh, he just took off on us. Where's he going? Come back, little. We're not going to hurt you, I promise. I'm going to tell my mom. Don't be a tattletale. Snitches get stitches. All right, here we go. Come up around. There's a lot of treasure chests in here. Let's see what we got in here. This thing, cottage, we'll take it. We're gonna need those quite a bit as we progress forward. Okay, now there's, okay, here they are. There's a the little boy and the mom. Uh, I'm gonna wait, let's go see what's in here. Um, I'm not sure if we're supposed to do this yet or not. Oh, that's a wide room, I believe. Uh, I don't think we're supposed to talk to that. What do you guys think? Let's do it, let's do it. Let's take our chances. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Does not want to know about anything? Sunfire? Airship? Dreadnought? Mithril? Lavros? Okay, so I don't think it wants to... It just keeps giving a question mark, so that may be for a different time. We'll come back and see what we can do. All right, so let's go in here as well, see what's in here. Up, oh, nothing. Now, I don't think there's going to be any monsters in here, so I'm not too worried about that. So let's go ahead and move on down here and grab some of these treasure chests. Now I'm hoping we'll get some good stuff out of here. Uh, should be another level. Okay, perfect. One little treasure chest here. Phoenix down, we'll take it. That stuff is extremely, extremely expensive. Okay, we are on the third floor. We went all the way up. There's a few places we can get into right here. All right, um, I'm not sure which one I wanna go into. Let's start with that one. Nothing. Dead end, guys. Don't go in there. Don't go in that door. Let's see what's in this store right here. And we got three treasure chests. Stun tune, uh, stop tune, and curse tune. Now, I don't know if those are things we can learn or we can actually use in battle itself. And there should be one more left here, and that's a unicorn horn. I have no idea what we're going to do with that unicorn horn. It's probably going to be a key item. Uh, we're going to have to use it uh, soon enough. So we'll have to check that out. And I don't know, there may be one more chest over here to the left. Let's go ahead and explore this area and get in here. Oh, there's tons of, okay, so we got Gold Needle. Uh, let's see, we got Sage's Wisdom, Saint Spirit, Swing Sword, a Mallet, Cross, we've got Antidote, and we've got Eye Drops. Let's see what some of this stuff is. So that Wing Sword is 67. That's a huge, huge, we may give that to Steady Red. I think Steady Red would benefit from that more than Bojangles because he does much better uh, with the blades. So yeah, look, it goes up to 82 for him. So that's a huge jump. So let's go ahead and give him the Wing Sword. And we have a major staff. Oh, we need to see if Bojangles can have that staff because that's going to be huge. All right, so major staff, perfect. Yep, his goes up to 65. And man, that'd be pretty cool if we put two on him, but I like him having that shield. I think that shield really pays off in the end. So let me get all this sorted out and then we'll head back and talk to the, the little boy and his mom. All right, we have talked, let's talk to the little boy. What's the big deal? You're not that bad, guys. I thought the Empire had sent their soldiers after us again. All right, let's see, the Wavering's right in there. He's sound asleep right now. My mom says he's gonna die soon, but that's not true, is it? Okay, when I grow up, I wanna be a dragoon, just like my dad was. I wonder if that must be like a type of soldier, maybe, or some type of fighter. I don't know, so let's ask him about the rest of this stuff. He just gives us a bunch of question marks. So let's talk to mom. I hope my son hasn't caused any trouble. If he has, I apologize. My husband was a dragoon. The Emperor soldiers killed him along with the rest. My son and I are the only ones left. In the room behind us is the last wyvern. It seems to be trying to tell us something, but I could not speak its tongue. If we only had one of the pendants, we could, we would be able to understand it. The cavern in the wyverns lies north of this castle. The cavern may hold one of the pendants that allows one to speak the wyvern's language. Okay, so let's learn wyverns. And I think we, did we learn it? Wyvern, wy, wyverns? Is it wyverns or wyverns? I'm not too sure how we're supposed to uh, pronounce that, but I think we learned it. So let's ask about it. The dragoons fought violent, valiantly, but the Empire knows no honor. The wyverns withered in agony to the last death. Why, with the wyverns dead, the dragoons were picked off one by one by the Empire. Okay, so let's learn about dragoons. Oh, have we already asked that question? I'm about the opinions. Okay, so ask the dragoons. Oh, we already asked. We already 
We already talked about that. Okay, yes. About Sunfire, Airship. Anything else that she wants to teach us about? Nope, that's going to be nothing right there. So I think at this point we need to move on to the Daish Cavern, which is going to be up north above this, um, above this, um, above the castle that we're at. So it's the, it's the Daish Cavern. Not the, so you're going to visit the castle first, and then you're going to head up north. You can see the little trail up there, and we're going to head that way. So I'll meet you guys at the cavern. All right, we're at the Daish Cavern. Now the first thing we want to do is we got to find the pendant. And we're gonna go all the way back and talk to Wyvern. Oh, we got some heel giggas we gotta fight. Let's see what these guys are all about. Oh my goodness, we're gonna die. <laughs> Gee, what's the one that? Oh, we've gotta forgive some protect on everybody. We're gonna put some cure on Kristen real quick. Zero, so we're not doing good. This Layla chick does not hit hard at all. Uh, we did give her, she's a knife person or a dagger, so we did, we did equip her with a dagger. So we should see what happened and how she goes through here. Oh, we got some, we got the hits pretty hard there. Oh man, I'm not sure what happened on that one. Okay, 142, not too bad. Man, they are tearing us up. Layla is about to die. Uh, does she have thunder? She's got, uh, man, we should, maybe we should cure her. I'm not sure if that was a good idea or not, but uh, let's see, 235. Man, these guys hit hard. I don't know, maybe this is like a mini boss fight before we head into this thing. I'm gonna try to scare us away. All right, so let's get some attacks. Uh, we need to cure Layla real quick. Um, let's go ahead and do it. Mm, nothing. We might want to. What, 38? That's not bad. It's better than zero. Okay, we got one down. One down. All right, it's one down. So that's good. Okay, so we got 63. So we're not hitting too bad. Nope, oh, that's a miss. Oh, that's a good miss. Maybe Layla's got some kind of uh, special miss power on these guys. So maybe if they'll just keep attacking her, then we'll just be fine. We can just one, two, three this one out of here. 24 on that one, not too bad. There's another miss. This guy can't hit the bronze out of a barn. Okay, seven hits, 163. Bojangles is hitting the hardest with that staff. So I'm not sure if these guys are, oh, there's another miss once again. Okay, not too bad. 58, there's another 86. Oh, and he's gone, Bacong. Okay, so we got some staff leveled up, our shield leveled up. Uh, got some couple HPs and a giant helm. Nothing to nothing to get too excited about. Um, let's go ahead and make sure everybody's healed up in case we got to fight those those big old giants again. Uh, I kind of have a feeling we're going to be fighting those quite a bit throughout this. Let's see what's in the search. That's 230 kill. Not too bad. Now, all right, let's fight this. And I think the pendant is in that room below us. Okay, here we go. We got to go down here to the stairs. Okay, perfect. There it is. Day's Cavern. To, you come across the remains of a dragoon. Something something nearby on the ground catches your eye. A little blingy bling. We found the pendant. All right, perfect. So we got to bring this back to the, I believe the mom or the dragon because, oh no, the dragon because the dragon is, the pendant gives us the ability to talk to the dragon. We have made it back to the wyvern. Let's go and see if he can understand him now. Oh, we seek your aid in destroying the empire, our common foe. Okay, will you help us? So now we can understand him. Oh, what's he gonna do? The Empire poison already curses through my veins. I would not escape the fate that befell my broad. Oh, he's already dying, so they poisoned him. Let's ask about the wyverns. Oh, he laid an egg. I, or she did. I have one last request to make of you. Take this egg to the cavern north of here and submerge it in the life spring. It's the last remaining wyvern egg. It is, if it's not submerged in the life spring soon, it will wither and die. Oh, guys, we have got to get this thing. All right, so we've obtained a wyvern egg. we got to go drop this bad boy up in the cavern. So we've got to make our way all the way through the cavern and drop it off. The egg, the last of the wyverns. Take it to the life spring. I beg you. Oh, did it die or is it just asleep? Oh, no, woke it up. We woke it back up. The egg. Oh, no, it's dead. Okay, <laughs> so I think that's all we can do. Uh, so let's take this egg back to the cavern. We are back at the cavern, guys. Here we go. Let's go see. We're at the D.I.E. cavern, bottom floor one. We're going to go down here into the left. Well, all right. Let's see what kind of stuff. Forge maids, forge, the lactite and the lantern. That's the egg you guys haven't seen the fight before. So we're going to skip all this and head to that second floor. All right, we are almost to the second floor. And it looks like... Ooh, yellow souls. We haven't fought these before, so I'll let you guys stick around for this one. Let's see. A player, a fire, five. Let's see what kind of damage. Not not bad at all. It's nothing I think we need to really worry about too much. Look, and now, 
And we have to worry about is that each one of them is going to deal us that damage. So there's five times you say, you know, you know, 20 of these guys, that's 250 damage. So it can add up to quite a bit if we don't take care of them pretty quick. It doesn't seem like they're too hard to defeat. Seems pretty simple. So not too bad. 58 right there. Uh, so nothing higher than 58. So, okay. So that's not anything we need to really worry about. All right. 74. 170 by Layla's finally starting to hit a little bit harder I think just from some of the level ups okay so let's see let's go ahead and uh, let's see I need to get get let's get some cure going on these guys I'm not sure what we have to face but I have to have to be careful uh, not to use too much because there is a boss battle I do think on this one all right so there's plenty things that we can get into here anything new here nothing new here so I'll bring you back to that treasure chest all right you know the drills let's see what's in this treasure chest we got a little bit of ether nothing too crazy there man we have got a lot of a lot of cavern we got to get through i uh, imagine we're gonna fight a lot of these gigas so with that further ado we'll see you guys at the next treasure chest we've made it to the next four before on, on the cavern got some uh, revenants that we're gonna beat up on here in a second and we're not gonna watch all these fights i think i played about two hours worth of gameplay on this episode because this cavern is so big going back and forth from the castle to the wyverns and we still have to make it back to altair uh, to talk to hilda uh, to see what's going on there so we're gonna cut a lot of this out for you so you don't have to sit here and watch this because i feel like it's just gonna be absolutely nuts as far as this goes so let's get up here to the left side and we'll see what's uh gonna be in this treasure chest okay let's see if we can get to the next level there wasn't any more treasure chests on that one on B4, so we're now we are at B5. Oh, there's the life pool. We can see the life pool. So we're getting closer to where we need to get to. All right, let's take these guys out. We've got dual heads and, a, and that, a, what is that? The Edermatardus? We can't ever, the one that we can't ever say, but gives us fits because this armor is extremely hard. It hits hard too. 63 right there, but it shouldn't be too bad for us. Uh, let's go six hits there with the 10. And then Bojang with the 153. Got a little bit of 18 right there. A little bit of a miss. We've been seeing a lot more misses lately with our armor as it's continued to progress in this uh, in this Final Fantasy 2 episode. So let's see, do we get anything crazy on this one? Doesn't look like we're getting anything crazy. Uh, just some few levels, a little bit of gold. All right, so let's get down here. I don't believe there's any treasure chests on this level, so we just gotta go down and around and get to that next spot. Okay, so there were some treasure chests, of course. We got some monsters to fight. Oh, these daggum tortoises. Man, these treasure chests better have something nice into it. Uh, get, get us moving as far as that goes. Two Thunder Dust doesn't do too much. So, big 217 from Bojangles, baby. Some more Thunder 5 on that. That did 38. So, the Thunder does absolutely no good on these tortoises. Tortoises. Okay, some misses. And one hit goes 30. I, I think every time we, we get, we start fighting these things, we get, we, we hit harder and our defense goes up a lot better because they, they were hitting them pretty tough a while ago, but now all of a sudden they're not hitting too bad. Let's see what fire does. It's a uh, 85, much better. Looks like fire is the way to go if you're going to use magic on these tortoises. Uh, I really need to get into the beast regon and check out what each one of these monsters are weak to uh, so we have a better idea as we move forward in this game. Uh, but it's, it is what it is. Sometimes the, the best, the funnest part is finding out by trial and error uh, which one is bad and which one is not bad at all as far as you're moving through all these uh, battles and a lot of these things. So some of these are things are just a grind, like the, the, the gigas, the hill gigas, man, those things that take forever. I cut a lot of that out, man. It was just like I was getting hit with them over and over. And each battle was anywhere from two to three minutes long, which made for a long playthrough getting through this cavern. But they did great for like getting money, uh, increasing our HP, increasing our MPs. Uh, so it was a good fight as far as like progressing. So like I, this is a place I'll come back later on um, offline and I'll continue to fight just so we can upgrade our people. I don't know if we're ever going to get Doc Stenko back. So we're going to have to start learning some of these cures and these things. Um, whether it be Bojangles or, or Kristen, uh, so we can start leveling that up stuff because we are getting a little bit further along in the game where we're going to need a lot of that stuff as far as like healing and life and things uh, as far as like antidotes and the asanas and things like that where that can cure like blindness and poison and other things like that that we're going to face uh, moving forward. Okay, so let's going to see. we got a lot of levels up on that one. Lots of money on that. And a diamond shield. Okay. Ooh, we got knight's armor. So let's go ahead and see if we can equip this real quick. 
Uh, let's get everybody healed up first. We are going through uh, HP like crazy. Uh, so hopefully we don't have to fight too big of a boss on this one uh, when we get to the life spring because we are running out of MP. We've only got five left of uh, Steady Red, so we may not better use much more of his stuff as well. So let's see if we can put this armor on anybody. Okay, we got bronze with armor. She should be an upgrade on that. Uh, ooh, his evasion goes up. We're not too worried about that. Uh, so nothing too crazy there. Okay, let's see what's in this chest. We got a Saint Soul. We got a Flame Bow. And the sage was, oh, we got a flame bow. Let's see if we get that on her real quick. Dude, it goes up huge to 72. That's going to make a huge difference moving forward. I don't see anything else that we can really upgrade. We got that dagger. We might better put that on Layla. Uh, but as far as Bojangles, man, he is, uh, there's nothing really that he can use. Okay, so nothing looks there. Looking good. We got the flame bow. I think that's, oh, we got to try that. Maybe we, that goes up to 90. Maybe we put that on Steady Red. There's a Sleep Blade. Oh, both of those. Trident and the Sleep Blade. I think. Oh, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? I think we do it. I think we... Oh, no. The Trident goes down. So that's... Let's leave that alone. Whoop. Oh, now, now it's going back up. I don't understand. Hmm. Some of these... It gets real confusing on some of this stuff as far as like what goes what and where. Um, but we're going to go ahead and put the Trident on him. I think that's going to be good. And then we're going to put that uh, wing sword and put that. So I think that's going to that's gonna set us up for success moving forward as we get these guys up and where we need to go. Okay, I'll figure this out and then let's move on to the next level. We were not even close. We have to go all the way back to the very first floor to start making our way up to the very top to the life spring. So we are very far away still from making it to the life spring. We're still on level one. So now we've made it all the way across. So now we're on B2. Completely different level. Oh, 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 went the wrong way. <laughs> Let's go up and around. Okay, we got it up and around, and there's I think there's a treasure chest up at the top, uh, and then we'll make it to the next level. Okay, we've made it to another trip. A mithril arm. We've got so much mithril armor. I don't even know why I'm checking this. We think, uh, yeah, we've got four mythal armors. It's pointless at this point. We've got too many of that. Okay, so let's go. I think we have to go down. Nope, that's for another cavern. We need to go back up and around to get to that treasure chest right there. So let's make our way that way. Okay, you could. Okay, mithril helm. We got plenty of mithril. I don't even know why I'm checking this. Okay, we found the last treasure chest on this one. We got some monsters. Oh, we got some green souls. We haven't faced these green souls before. <laughs> I'm kind of worried. Let's see what we can do. Uh, I think he's dead. Okay, not too bad on there. 288. Six hits for this guy. 420. Man, we are. Oh, he cured us. Wait, wait. Maybe we should just. Maybe we should just let these guys hit us and put the cure on us, man. I don't. I've never seen that before. Uh, I, now, someone did tell me if you use Phoenix down on the enemy, it'll actually kill them sometimes if you hit them. So we're gonna give that a shot. May, oh, a mage's mage's staff. No, oh, we already got one. Don't need it. Okay, so we need to come up and around to the left and come back down to that staircase down there uh, to get to the next level. Okay, we're at the next one. Let's see what we can Mithril. Man, we're getting so much stinking Mithril. All right, let's see what we can do. Let's go across this bridge. Oh, it just put us all the way back down the B4. All right, I'm going to make my way back to that bridge. Uh, we're going to go down to one that little small spot. I'll show you when we get back. And don't make that mistake. Don't try to go across that bridge. Okay, if you want to try to go get those two treasure chests on this level where the bridge is, you got to go down that one and take the cavern to the cavern B3. And there should be two treasure chests that you can get. You're going to have to go back out that way and then go back all the way around to the left and then skip that bridge completely. Uh, so it'll, it'll take you back to, to the same level, but across the bridge uh, if you got if you got. <laughs> That what I'm saying. Oh, I'm tired of fighting these things. Okay, let's see what's in the Mithril Glove. We don't need anything Mithril anymore. We're about mithril it out. So let's see if we can get... Oh, man, this looks like an Orc Mage and an Orc Chief. I don't think we fought the Orc uh, Chiefs before. We have fought the Mages. They're not too crazy hard. Let's see about these Chiefs. Oh, yeah, they're... Yeah, not bad at all. So we got... Oh, he did that... Uh, that that uh what's it called that double reflective stuff we've tried that in the past in some other games it doesn't work too good for us it just helps your evasion and, and it doesn't really keep them from hitting you or anything like that that we notice so uh not something that i would use or i'm ever going to use uh, i don't know we'll see we may try to play with it a little bit and see what we get okay let's see what we got a mithril mirror okay i'm not sure what that is probably something um that, i don't know is that is that something is like a a mithril shield i don't see anything in our inventory right there it's probably going to be an item it's probably something that we're going to use like uh during a battle where it'll like 
it's probably like a shield or something as far as okay i have to make my way all the way back around to the other floor uh so we'll get there and then uh, i'll show you guys where we're going to be at let's take a look is it here uh, the mithril mirror it's a mirror that guards against magic okay so that yeah we'll just use that in battle okay we're back down to b4 just get the bridge don't just go around it don't go on the bridge you're gonna fall through it's gonna take you all the way back to the very lowest level of this cavern and it's just gonna frustrate you to all ends so let's take this guy out real quick shouldn't be in that bad of a battle now i do believe as we make our way all the way across this one it should bring us to the last level where the spring of life is and that's where we're gonna I think we gotta fight i'm not sure if it's a mini boss or or a boss and then once we fight that we can throw the egg in the life spring and then we can head back to altair to uh talk to hilda about um everything that we've done um, so let's get this 300 gil not too bad so let's make our way around shouldn't be too bad some of these things oh not at another bridge i'm nervous hopefully we don't fall through this one and then i'll be absolutely lost as far as like <laughs> where do we go from there and how do we you know uh, navigate this uh this cave so okay so nothing there pretty easy pretty simple so this is fairly quick all right so let me take these guys out i'll keep you guys around for this one shouldn't be too bad of a battle uh, guys i hope you had a merry christmas and i hope you guys by the time you guys see this it's probably gonna be uh you had your merry christmas open presents spend time with your family so i hope you guys had a wonderful time and was able to do all this stuff and you got everything that your hearts desired everything that santa claus brought to you so um all right all right i've got some revenants guys so i do have a surprise coming myself uh, it's kind of my christmas present to myself but we're getting a whole brand new something uh, i'm not going to tell you what it is yet but i'm actually going to record myself revealing it live so just it's coming if you if you made it this far in the video i appreciate your support it really do it means the world to me uh, you guys are absolutely awesome fantastic okay so here we go let's get down here and then we'll see where it brings us to okay so we're at b4 and i'll we'll see what we can get in out of here i think this is the last chest the acid vial man that must be something we're going to use in battle right here uh yep there it is acid that deals poison damage okay this should be i keep saying it but let's this is it okay oh man we finally made it to the last level oh this is gonna be great Okay, it looks like there was a, quite a few treasure chests over there to the right. Uh, let's just kick these guys out real quick. Seven hits, eight, seven, dude. That's a huge, huge hit since we gave him that flame bow. I think she's hitting harder than magic. We may have to make Bojangle like our magic person. He is catching up on the MP you know, because we have been trying to uh, increase that as we go through doing a lot of 3,000 kill for that. That's not bad at all. Okay, so let's make our way around. Okay, so I do know which door it is. It should be this door right there. Let's do it. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> what is that thing? It's like one of them four-headed monsters or two-headed monsters. All right, so let's take these remnants out real quick. Not gonna no sense in cutting through this one. Seven hit, 397. Man, Leela is starting to hit finally. Of course, we're gonna lose her. I gotta remember to take her armor off as well. Look at that, 414. Man, Kristen is tearing it up. Okay, let's go see what this guy has to say. The Chimera after egg. Okay. Oh, they want our egg. They're trying to keep us from putting that egg in there. Oh, are these going to be a tough battle? So Chimeras, there's four of them. Let's go ahead and throw some protect on us real quick. All right, let's see. Thunder, maybe some fire. Let's try fire. Just going to hit them hard with steady red. Oh, 162, not 77. Not too bad. So this protect on us. Now this protect is, uh, we've got it up to level four. We've almost got it to level five. So we'll keep working that up. That fine. 84, not too bad on fire. 125, 331. That's a huge hit. Oh, we should put some. Oh, we need to put something. We need to put the shell on us. We just use protect, I believe. So let's go back to magic and put shell. That's going to protect us from magic, uh, from any type of magic. Looks like they're going to be dealing a lot of fire on us. We've got a shell up to level three. I'd like to get that to level four. Hopefully by the end boss, we'll have this stuff maxed out um, as far as we can get it. I don't know what the max is for this, so we're gonna have to research that and figure that out. All right, so let's see what this blizzard does. Okay, 71, not really good. We may just go straight back to the bow and see how that does. Now, that almost reduced everything in half that is, since we put the shell on. So that's eight hits from Leela and 33. So we're gonna take that out pretty quick, fast, and in a hurry. 105. Not a bad battle. There, we should be we should be alright on this one. Hit us with that blaze again. Yeah, just oh man, steady red's down. Uh he's down to 349. He's getting low. We should be 
Uh, we're going to take a chance, and I don't know, you know, let's not take a chance. Let's put that cure on him. Uh, we, we've got an, we've got time to do it. Uh, we've got some high potion. Let's just get him on top. 203, eight hits there. That's 80. All right, seven hits by Bojangles. 233, 128, 153. That's oh nope. Just in case, we got to have that cure. Leela needs it next. She's going to be down pretty close. Oh, 82. Ooh, let's just go. We're going to risk it. We're going to risk it. Just, just, we should better take him out. I think we have it in us. Seven hits right there. And that's awesome. Leela with the W. She knew she was getting ready to die. Couple level up. All right. Guys, we made it to the life spring. Let's throw this egg in here. See what happens. The life spring is a wash. If it's soft light. So let's put the wyvern egg in. Okay, we're looking at each other. We all concur. Throw the egg in. The wyvern egg sinks gently to the bottom of the spring. Okay. Nothing else happens. We're nothing. No wyvern. Okay. The egg rests deep at the bottom of the life spring. Okay, we did it. I think that's all that we can do right there. You know what? I'm not even going to try to make my way. We're just going to teleport completely out of here. Um, uh, let's warp. Just takes us from the previous floor. No, we want to go all the way out. So let's teleport out. Let's see if this works. Abracadabra! Hey, shabing! We made it out. That's awesome, guys. That's what I'm talking about. All right, we need to head to... Um, we got to head to back to I can't, Altair and talk to Hilda. Uh, I don't know if we need to go back into that castle or not, but uh, if we do, I'll check it out and I'll bring you back. If not, I'll meet you back at Altair. We are back at Altair. I have taken a nappy nap to restore our HP and our MP. It was like 500 bucks because we were so low. Okay, so let's go up here and see if Hilda's in here. Nope, she is not. This is going to be Gordon. Hilda's been acting very strange. I try, try to speak to her. Could the king's death have disturbed her so deeply? I just don't know what I can do. Would you try speaking to her for me? Okay, so let's go down here. Uh, I'm not sure. She may be in the king's quarter, but we're going to check this room real quick just to be safe so we're not going back and forth. Uh, doesn't look like she's in here. Okay, so let's go back down, and we're going to come around to this bottom one. And I wonder what's, what, wonder what's going on with her, man. Let's try to see what's up. Oh, here we go. Bob Jangles, there's something I'd like to discuss with you. Okay, let's see what's happening. Oh, everybody's looking around like she's crazy. Okay. Kristen, we'll be waiting outside. I don't think Kristen's too happy about this. That's my girl, you know. All right. Everybody go outside. It's me and, me and Hilda now. Let's see. Come tell me about Jangles. Uh oh, it's getting crazy. Oh, your, your highness. Uh -oh. Why are you standing there? I don't enjoy being teased. Um, uh, I don't know about this, guys. This is a trick. Now nah, you're mine, Bojangles. But what have you done with the princess? Oh, she's a snake. Help, where's my crew? Not so fast, you scurvy snake. Here comes Lila. She knew for the whole time. We got to fight this chick. Oh, here we go, baby. All right, let's do this. That is not, that's Lamia the Queen. So we don't know where Hilda's at anymore. Okay, so let's go ahead and just get some attacks in. So 149. I'm not sure this is going to be that that difficult of a battle. Looks like we got some. Let's go ahead and throw this protect on her head just in case. And we'll do some shell our next 354. I mean, that flame bow is, is incredible. Kristen is hitting harder than uh, Steady Red at this point. Oh no, Steady Red's asleep. That's not good. Wake up, Steady, wake up. Let's go ahead and throw some shell on us. I don't know if I should be using magic or just doing just straight out hitting right now. We may have, like I said, we may have to make Bojangles our magic man because Kristen is hitting far. Okay, so let's see what happens there. 359. Oh man, that queen hits hard. Okay, hit some attacks on here. Uh, maybe some mm, thunder. Let's try what thunder looks like. 118. That's it. That's it. That's all she wrote. So that was nothing but a mouse on the wheel, baby. Yeah, the Bojangles crew has done it again. Let's see what happens. Let's see if she's got anything to say or if she just disappears. Hey, our show level went up. Ooh, 15,000. We'll take it. All right. Layla, just how much of that did you see? Oh, Bojangles is a little embarrassed. Enough to know you shouldn't be letting your guard down around fetching young ladies, I'd say. <laughs> she's not too happy. Where's the real princess? Steady Red, always serious. A terrible news. We've just heard a tournament is being held in Palamithia. The princess Hilda is the prize. Oh man, I'm coming with you. I, I want to help you rescue Hilda. Don't worry, I know just how you feel, Captain. Me and the boys will manage your army. I run a tight ship. No need to fret over us. 
Gordon has joined our party. All right, guys. Looks like we're going to Palamasea. I didn't say that too good a while ago. So let's see. I think that's going to be it for the day. Guys, don't forget to hit that like button. Ring that bell. Subscribe. Share this video as you see fit. And we'll see you guys next time.